Okay, morning guys, and welcome to the latest video. Um, been a, a mad couple of days, um, but we're now going to go on the next big trip. So this one is a biggie. So we're going to be heading down to the uh, BQR meet at Cheltenham. Um, we're just going to quickly knit to the shop first just to pick up some supplies. Before we go, we've got about a two and a half hour drive to get there at least. Um, and that's in a Ford Capri as well. So uh, I'm opening the doors for anything happening, to be perfectly honest. But fingers crossed, hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, yeah, we're uh, pretty much packed. So we'll just grab some food quickly from the shop and fill up uh, the car with fuel. And uh, then we'll be ready to go. So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Morning, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Be looking forward to that. Okay guys, so we're just having a, um, a quick pet stop, just add one to change Reggie and top up his bottles, it looks like he's uh, found his favourite toy. Uh, turns out he likes tie wraps. Anything to stop him screaming. Uh, so yeah, we're probably about um, three quarters of an hour away now, so shouldn't be too much longer, Capri's doing quite well. Um, doing very well actually, not a problem at all at the moment. Um, and Reg is doing well as well. So yeah, we'll uh, when we get closer to the venue, no doubt we'll start seeing some more cars. I'm sure, but uh, uh, we'll pick up obviously in a bit. So see you in a bit. <laughs> So as you can see, uh, we are about a mile from the venue. Reg is fast asleep, still clinging on to his tie wrap. But there is a, a massive queue to get in. So this is obviously not ideal, but I think it's clearly showing its popularity. I think there's gonna be a lot of, uh, a lot of vehicles turning up, certainly. Looks like uh, one or two have already had a go at a couple of burnouts whilst waiting. Bored them, I guess. So it's obviously a bit of a shame, but what can you do? I've driven over two hours to get here, so I'm not going to just turn around now. Starting a queue behind us and all. Ah, it is what it is. That looks like it there. Wow, that's looking pretty busy. So we're not far now. So uh, the motorcyclist behind me very kindly has just told me that I've just leaked a load of fluid out of the car all over the road. Is this a reoccurrence of that problem I had before? This is not good. We're literally yards. Yards. <laughs> oh no. Right. Quick 
be pulled over. I'm gonna have a look and see. Using one of Reg's nappies. <laughs> I have now. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. I've got one, but thanks anyway. Thank you. A little bit of steam coming off, but that's not too bad. I'll take that. Okay, so I've just topped up the um, radiator with two litres of water. Um, it was smelling hot, so I'm not surprised that that bloke, that cyclist said uh, that I dumped a load of fluid on the floor. Um, I think I can actually see the entrance to the race course, so it's, we're really, really close. Um, but at the minute, I'm just having to stop and start the car each time uh, traffic stops um, and I'm, I'm literally coasting now with the engine off I'm hoping that uh, I can find somewhere to top the bottle up again when I get there I'm sure I'll be able to find somewhere <coughs> Just part of the adventure, isn't it, pal? <laughs> I think the intro to this video is probably going to be the longest that I've ever done a video complete. <laughs> And you've still got your tie wrap, haven't you, mate? <coughs> and break off. Coast. No yeah. engine. This keeps it nice and cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, that's not good. Well then guys, we've made it. Um, just. Uh, not ideal really. Um, I've pulled onto the car park. Um, as you can see down there. It is pretty busy. There are loads of cars here. So it should be pretty entertaining. Hopefully, eh pal? We can get out now and go for a walk about. Let's see some cars and see what BQR has got to offer. Right, so I've just come from the main entrance of the race course just to try and seek some assistance with trying to get some water for the uh, for the car. So I've managed to top the bottle up. So we can fill the car and hopefully we'll be able to get it home. So big thumbs up to you, Ellie, for your help. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. There's your tie wrap, pal. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Diagnosis for this car at the minute is not looking too good. As you can see by the enormous water trail outside it. But I'm not going to let that dampen the spirits. In the day. Let's have a look around while we're here.
Okay then guys, so we're just about to uh, head home now. Uh, it's about half past two. There's still a bit of time left, I think, for the event to still take place. And as you can see over in the distance there, I don't know if you can, it's absolutely rammed still with cars. There's still loads here, but unfortunately, um, we're gonna have to get back because uh, we need to get home. Um, it's gonna be a fairly long drive back and I'm uh, a little bit worried about how the Capri is gonna do, to be honest. So I think I'd best leave now rather than leaving it too late and getting stuck in too much traffic, so. I've uh, topped up all the water now, so fingers crossed it'll hopefully get us home, but there's obviously still an, an intermittent problem that I need to sort at some point, so. Oh well, anyway, so we're gonna set off in a minute, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit, Swindon Lane. Okay guys, sudden change of plan. Um, just on the exit of the race course, it's gone to a 60 mile an hour stretch just here. Um, it's pretty empty, so I'm gonna stay here for a little bit and hopefully might catch some of the cars possibly coming this way, so we shall see. I'll get Reggie out and we'll have a go. Okay guys, so we're just gonna We're just gonna leave the location now. Um Reg is getting a, a bit restless at the minute and uh, We need to get back anyway, so
Hi there guys, so uh, just doing a quick wrap up video. Um, actually, ironically, I had done one um, when I was driving home, but I made the mistake, unfortunately, of um, having the window down and uh, com it completely drowned out everything I was saying. I then just realized it when I started editing this, this one together. So that's why I just quickly do uh, this one now instead. Um, so, um, wow, what a what an unbelievable event it was. Um, must have been in excess of 2,000 cars that turned up. So, what a, what an incredible turnout! So, obviously, the big thanks, of course, goes to the BQR team, everybody involved, everybody that was part and parcel of putting everything together and and running the show. Well done to you all! Massive thumbs up. So, really, really impressive. Um, yeah, the queue was a, a bit of a pain in the ass, um, but I guess it's just a it just shows the popularity that uh, you guys are having, so um, I don't think you can really uh, complain about that. So well done, really, really good. Um, Want to say as well, particularly from myself, another thanks once again to Ellie um, for helping us out by allowing me to top up my uh, bottle so that I could refill the Capri's radiator again. Um, if it weren't for her, I uh, would have certainly been struggling to get hold of some I think and uh, I would have been having difficulties getting home um, so big thumbs up to you mate thank you very much um, of course a big thanks to everybody as well for turning up with their cars um, like I said must have been uh, at least 2,000 maybe more that turned up and if it weren't for every single one of you it wouldn't have been the show that it was so uh, big thanks to you guys as well um, as for ourselves, uh, the Capri did make it. Um, it did get home, but obviously that, that problem with the water coming out again, um, a real uh, a real head scratcher, that one. Something that I definitely will need to uh, to sort out. Um, again, it was uh, you know, nice that the, that motorcyclist as well told us about it, so big pop, I got, forgot about that, so thumbs up to you as well for just advising us and there was also that uh, guy that um, drove past us um, just as I was about to start filling up offering some water as well so whoever you were thank you as well um, but as I say uh, certainly a, a problem that is definitely going to need addressing because can't be living with that and it seems as if it's um, quite possibly um, maybe it's a, a thermostat issue or I don't know um it's a it's a real head scratcher that one it's certainly not something i can live with and it's uh it's clearly happening only really when the car sat stationary so something that needs addressing but that'll be for another time okay um enough of me waffling i just want to very very quickly say as, as ever if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't thumb it down um if you want to subscribe to the channel please do so and uh any comments that you want to put down um that would be uh, you know be of any that would be of help to me then yeah please do so um let us know the, the sort of content that that you're liking um what you want to see more of and uh hopefully i can uh, uh, i can deliver so um but yeah okay um that's about it then so from myself and reggie um who's fast asleep of course because it is two o'clock in the morning um it's a, a big thanks to every single one of you and Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks ever so much for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.